Hello everyone, it's Tana. Welcome back to the channel and another video for the Rabbit Hole Designs. Today we're going to use the caffeinated rhino and the caffeinated giraffe together. And we're going to make three kind of quick slimline cards. And I already have these two pre-colored and it didn't matter because once I decided what I was going to do, they didn't match. So I paper pieced them. Okay, so for this first one, we're going to take the little bird that belongs with the caffeinated rhino set. And I'm just going to stamp those all over my panel with Versafine Nocturne Claire ink. Versafine Claire Nocturne ink, I should say. And heat embossing with clear embossing powder. And now I'm taking some Distress crayons, which I have not used in a long time. I'm just going down this piece of Bristol in rainbow order. And I have the names for you up above. And then I'm just going to go over that with a watercolor brush and some water and blend them all together. Not like blend them all together, but blend them into each other. And I'm going to cut out, uh, there's a sentiment that goes with the stamp set that says hashtag chubby unicorn. But I wanted the letters to be bigger and rainbow colored, so I used the MFT little letters set and the hashtag came from the little numbers set. And I cut them all out of this rainbow panel. And I made sure it was nice and dry first, so you know, you don't want to cut anything out when it's wet because your paper will just rip apart. I'm a little stuffy here, so excuse me if I sound a little weird. And there's my letters right there. And I cut them with the colors going vertical. So the red goes into the orange, the orange goes into the yellow, into the next letter, and so on and so forth. So this is when I discovered that his pants looked too Christmassy and he wasn't going to match with my rainbow. So I just took some plaid paper I had left over from a paper pad and I made him some new boxers and coffee mug. And then I took a piece of this jet black weave. I can't remember what it's called. I'll have it up above for you and down below in the description box. Blah, 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 blah. I know it's from Tonic. It's craft perfect paper. And I just wanted to make a black strip on the top and on the bottom. And that way my panel goes all the way across the card base. And only forms a border on the top and bottom. So now I did spend the time, even though you don't see it, to make sure that these were nice and straight and had the same width apart to the best of my ability anyway. And now we're going to put our rhino on a wobbler. That's right, we're going to have some fun with this one. And on to the next card. So for the second card, we're going to do the same thing we did for a couple of the rhino cards earlier in the month. We're going to make an African, that's how I see it, African sunset. That's what I think of when I see these two guys. Uh, but we're going to do something different with it after we blend the panel. So the colors I used are here up above on the screen for you. And when I say up above, it means on the screen. When I say down below, it means description box. Sometimes I get questions about that. That's what I mean when I say that. And now I'm making sure that it's nice and dry uh, by using my powder bag. And now I'm just going to take this tree stamp set. It's got several different kinds of trees on it. And the trees I'm using, I'm sorry if you can hear the furnace kicking on, are I think meant to be winter trees and bushes. Um... But they're serving the purpose here for my little African uh, scene. And I take the little bush and stack it on top of one another a couple times. And then I take the tall tree and I kind of mush them into one tree. So it looks like double branches. And it, it worked out well. I think it turned out well considering you don't see it as one scene because we're going to be splitting it into two. And this is what I mean by that. We're going to take these Stamp Market Skinny Upper Alpha dies, and we're going to, going to cut out giraffinated out of that panel. And we're going to use the negative on one card base and the positive, the letters, on another card base. And it took a while to get these straight as well because they had to be straight because I was using the negative panel. Well, the negative space on the panel. I did forget about a hashtag for this one, though, but I don't think in the end that it made much of a difference. 
And here's the rest of those letters there. We had one really nice day, guys. It was like 77 one day last week, and now it's freezing again. And raining a lot. I can't handle it. I miss the beach and warm weather. So now I'm taking a same, the same piece of black tonic card, Craft Perfect cardstock. And once again, I'll have that listed for you. And it's going on my panel so that it can be behind these spaces where I cut out the letters. And I'm using, using my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to adhere that whole panel on top of that black piece of cardstock. And it's also on a black card base. So Now I'm using the letters before I use them on the third card to place all those spaces like between the R and the A back where they're supposed to be so that you can actually tell what the letters are. And now this guy has a red and yellow robe instead of the colors that I used previously. And then I stamped out another one of him. And I turned him into a silhouette. But the only thing that's not going to be a silhouette is his coffee mug. So I'm, you can see what I'm doing here. I'm just using the panel to line up where the coffee mug should be. Placing my tweezers over that spot. And then moving the first guy. And just going straight down with my mug and gluing it into place and it worked fairly well it looks like it's where it's supposed to be so the paper piece guy is going to go on the black panel with the colored letters and the silhouette's going to go on the sunset panel with the black letters and i thought these two i really do like these two i love the way they turned out i love the silhouette and this guy doesn't get any embellishment but these two have red and gold confetti sequins and that is the end of our video don't forget to sign up for the rabbit hole designs email for lots of inspiration and a heads up on sales and everything to do with new releases don't forget to hit like subscribe and we'll see you in the next video guys bye bye for now